So you're probably watching this because you're done with medical school and maybe even internship and residency. And you think to yourself, why don't I practice in another country? Why don't I try Canada? Hi, my name is Hope and today I'll be sharing the general process for international medical graduates to apply for residency in Canada. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So the most important thing I would say in your IMG journey would be your immigration status. So Canada has a regulation where only Canadian citizens or those with permanent residency status can apply for residency. So make sure you have that all sorted out before you even attempt to apply for residency there. But if that's out of the way, here's the first thing you do. You have to see if you're eligible to even apply or take the licensing exams. So you can find the details in the Medical Council of Canada website where they have a list of eligibility requirements. And if you are eligible, you can then proceed to make an account in physiciansapply.ca. Once you create your account, you have to uh, apply for a source verification request. You have to physically mail these to the uh, main office of the MCC in Ontario. This process can take anywhere from one to four weeks and you cannot apply for the exams until you are source verified. But once you got everything verified, you can finally register for the first exam that you should take, which is the MCCQE1. I know it's a, a mouthful. This exam can be taken in a number of countries at certain times of the year. Once you clear the MCCQE1, you have to take the NAC OSCE exam. You don't actually have to take the MCCQE1 first before the NAC exam. You can take them in any order and this exam is only held in Canada. So you have to physically go there since it is an OSCE exam and it is only held at certain times of the year. I would say it's quite similar to the uh, USMLE Step 2 CS. So you've passed the MCCQE1 and the NAC exam. What do you do next? You can actually opt to take another exam, the MCCQE Part 2, especially if you're done with internship. It's not really required for you to apply for residency in Canada, but it could give you an edge. So you can take two or three exams, and once you've cleared all of them, you can finally register for residency through CARMS. It is the residency matching portal for Canada. You have to share your exam results as well as other supporting documents which you can find in their website when you apply for the R1 match. And congratulations doctor if you match at your hospital of choice. So one thing that's very important to take note of is to check the MCC website and the Physician Supply website regularly for updates because due to the pandemic there were many exams that were suspended last year. Other details and the whole process of this IMG journey to Canada can be found in the MCC website. So good luck. 